Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a sound play when a GUI is clicked. Just before the video begins I would like to announce that I now have my own merch store. We have an amazing selection of products at a very reasonable price. If you did want to go check out some of these products you can find the link to the store at the top of the description. We are actively adding more products and designs so if you do want to support us make sure to go check out the merch store. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties and they should show up somewhere over your screen. You now want to head over to your Starter GUI, click on the plus button in your Explorer, Starter GUI, click on the plus button and insert a Screen GUI. Then inside the Screen GUI, we want to insert a frame and then we want to go and size this frame to fit the whole entire screen and then we want to go to the Properties and set the Background Transparency to one basically meaning it is invisible. Then you can go and rename this frame to whatever you want, it's not necessary though. But inside this frame, we now wanna go and insert a text button. And then we wanna go and reposition our, where we want our button to be. So keep in mind, this is going to be the button that is making the noise when clicked. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna put the button right there. We can go and customize it, we can go change the text, we can change the font. You can really customize it to however you would like. So now that you've inserted the sound inside the text button, you can go and rename the sound to whatever you want, or you can call it sound effect, maybe sound one or really whatever, something you will be able to remember because we will have to change parts of the code to fit in with your sound. But for the tutorial, I'm just gonna be leaving it as sound. But once you've done that, you now want to go and get your sound ID. So now you're probably wondering, okay, how do I get my actual sound into the game? So what you wanna do, you wanna head over to the main Roblox page and go into the creative marketplace by clicking on the create button on the main Roblox page and it should take you over to a screen looking something like this. Now we want to head over to here on the top bar and click on audio because we are wanting to get audio and you can either choose from sound effects or this tutorial, we're going to be using sound effects though. And then you can go up here and search by the keyword. For example, maybe you want a click sound effect. Maybe you want a, a yelling sound effect. It's really up to you, but, but go and select a sound that you would like in your game. So once you've found the sound that you would like, you wanna go over here and click on your sound. Then you wanna click on more info. And then up here in the link where the big bunch of numbers is, this is the sound ID. So we wanna go and copy this and take this back to Roblox Studio. So now that you have your sound ID, you wanna head over to your sound over here. Then you wanna to go to the properties of your sound and find sound ID. In this open space here, you wanna click on that and then you wanna go control V or right click paste and paste in your new sound ID. So now that you've inserted your sound ID, we want to head over to our text button, click on the plus button and insert a local script. You now want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. Depending if you change your sound name, you want to go and change whatever your sound is called and change it over here. So once you've finished changing your sound name, you want to head over here, click on the X to go save the script and then we want to go click play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the bass play, and if we go click on our sound button over here, the audio will play. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord or create a ticket in my Discord server, and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next video.